So by the time you see this video, even if it is highly unlikely, I would hope that Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York has resigned because the details that came out after New York Attorney General Letitia James concluded her investigation into his office really prove that this individual should be nowhere near power given how likely he is to abuse his power and sexually harass and assault women who are in his vicinity. I mean, it's truly morally reprehensible that this individual is allowed to remain in power, but hopefully we're talking seriously about impeachment. Hopefully individuals in the Democratic Party are not going to let him get away with this and allow him to kind of skirt accountability when the news cycle stops talking about him because this is truly morally reprehensible. And rather than reading you an article about the findings, I just want you to hear the New York Attorney General explain it herself as to what she found after she finished this investigation. He reviewed more than 74,000 pieces of evidence, including documents, emails, texts, audio files, and pictures. These interviews and pieces of evidence reveal a deeply disturbing yet clear picture. Governor Cuomo sexually harassed current and former state employees in violation of both federal and state laws. The independence investigation found that Governor Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women, many of whom were young women, by engaging in unwanted groping, kisses, hugging, and by making inappropriate comments. Further, the governor and his senior team took actions to retaliate against at least one former employee for coming forward with her story, her truth. And Governor Cuomo's administration fostered a toxic workplace that enabled harassment and created a hostile work environment where staffers did not feel comfortable coming forward with complaints about sexual harassment due to a climate of fear and given the power dynamics. The investigators found that Governor Cuomo's actions and those of the exec executive chamber violated multiple state and federal laws, as well as the executive chamber's own written policies. This investigation has revealed conduct that corrodes the very fabric and character of our state government and shines light on injustice that can be present at the highest levels of government. But none of this, none of this would have been illuminated if not for the heroic women who came forward. And I am inspired by all the brave women who came forward, but more importantly, I believe them. I do too. Now, in spite of uh, the tens of thousands of pieces of information and evidence that she reviewed in this case, Andrew Cuomo is just denying all of it, literally all of it. Very Trumpian of him. He says, I want you to know directly from me that I never touched anyone inappropriately or made inappropriate sexual advances. Cuomo said, I'm 63 years old. I've lived my entire adult life in public view. That is just not who I am. And that's not who I have ever been. Yeah, except nobody buys this now. Nobody buys it. And even Joe Biden, the president of the United States, has called on him to resign. So that is as much political pressure as you could basically expect from a sitting official. But that's not all. Congress members from New York are also calling on him to resign, some for a second time. As Politico's Aaron Durkin explains, on Tuesday, Senators Chuck Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand again called for him to quit. Representative Jerry Nadler, Carolyn Maloney, Brian Higgins, Nydia Velasquez, Richie Torres, Yvette Clark, Kathleen Rice, Grace Mang, Adriano Espaid, Jamal Bowman, Munder Jones, and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has issued a joint statement saying Cuomo should face impeachment if he will not resign. The group cited Cuomo's own statement from 2013 calling for the resignation of then assembly member Vito Lopez over sexual misconduct allegations, saying there must be a zero tolerance policy towards sexual harassment. We agree, the members of Congress said. So what's frustrating is his refusal to even entertain the idea of him resigning amid a very serious scandal. And it's not like this is the only scandal 
that Andrew Cuomo is dealing with. There's also the nursing home scandal where there are lots of deaths because of him. And he hid that information. So it's it's deeply, deeply frustrating to see this. But thankfully, it seems as if Democrats are trying to hold one of their own accountable. And in fact, Assembly Speaker Carl Heasty is saying that he's already going to uh, expedite the impeachment process if he doesn't willingly step down. And this is incredibly important because if the Democratic Party, collectively speaking, wants to be taken seriously, wants to be seen as actual allies to the Me Too movement, they actually do need to hold individuals accountable. So I am pleased to see someone in the Democratic Party, finally face mass calls to resign because we already saw what happened when uh, Tara Reid came forward in 2020 with allegations of sexual assault against Joe Biden. I mean, she was largely uh, disregarded. She was smeared. And I, I think that that's incredibly morally reprehensible. It shows a lack of moral consistency on Democrats. And it's important that they really hold their own accountable here and live up to the principles that they espouse. And on top of that, it's worth noting that CNN also has chosen to not hold one of their own accountable, Chris Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo's brother, who is basically advising his brother on how to deal with sexual harassment allegations after bringing him on multiple times for puff pieces. So it's obviously a conflict of interest, and for CNN to not fire him immediately, given the gravity of the situation and his association with Andrew Cuomo and all of the propaganda that he did for his brother, it's just all around. Like, this story is so gross. So gross. And if you weren't already feeling gross enough, I'm going to leave you with some top-tier cringe from uh, basically Democratic party loyalists who went out of their way to glorify andrew cuomo and um as of the time that i record this video this is uh this is still up so i'll leave you with this get ready to want to jump out of your own skin Andy, please, you're so strong and rational.